Hello everyone, this is Asma Khalid from Cyber Panel and in today's video we will be talking about how to fix sorry this file type is not permitted for security reasons error in WordPress. So sometimes you need to upload some media, upload some files but you get this error that sorry uh, this file type is not permitted for security reasons and to fix that error I am going to show you a couple of methods uh, using those methods you will be able to upload the file that you want. So there are essentially five methods that we are discussing today. There are more methods out there, but I'm going to talk about the five ones. So number one is check the extension of the file that you're working with, uh, which is essentially basically just checking out whether your extension of the file is right or not. Number two, using a plugin to change approved file times. Number three is to add new permitted files using wp-config.php. Uh, uh, number four is uh, to edit your theme function.php file to modify permitted uh, file types. And the last one is to use the free WP extra file type plugin. So using all uh, five methods, we'll be able to permit uh, more file types within our WordPress site. So without further ado, let's just jump straight to the video. Okay guys, so now we're going to go through each and every one of these methods. The simplest one is to check the extension of the file that you're working with and you can see there might be a little spelling error instead of .png you might have written .ppg that might create a problem so it's the most simplest check and just simply check the extension of the file if it's not correct correct it and that's it you're ready to go so that's the first one the second one is using a plugin to change approved file types so we're gonna go with enhanced uh, enhanced media library plugin so go into plugin click on add new from here search for enhanced media library so there are some uh, so we're gonna go with this one 100,000 plus active installations click on install now once it's installed we're going to activate it so there might be some file types that are already allowed for you and some are not so you can simply use this plugin to correct that okay so my plugin is installed simply go into settings from here go into media and mime types once you go over here you will be able to see which ones are allowed so all of these the one with the checked ones they are allowed if uh, for example right now i can see that exe type files are not allowed so if i want to upload that i can simply just check it and it will be done also just simply scroll down you will be able to see that once you do that you only have to click on save changes and that is that's that you it's successfully done so that is how you can very easily uh, change the approved file times you can also uh, disapprove some of them if you want to but you can uh, but if you're uploading a file and it's creating that error you can simply uh, approve that relevant uh, extension over here so once that done simply click on save changes and that is it that's the second type using a plugin to change approved file types okay now the third one is add new permitted file types using wp-config.php so how can we do that let's go back to our dashboard from here now we need to access our w conf, uh, w uh, dash config dot php file so how can we get that uh, you can either go through your hosting service or there's a very simple plugin for that called file manager let's add that search for file manager This is the one that we need, the one with 900,000 active installations. Click, simply click on install. Once it is installed, simply activate it. And once it is activated, you will be able to see the WP File Manager tab right over here. So go into that, click on WP File Manager. I 
okay so you'll be able to see all of the relevant files of your site from here simply go into public html in public html you have to find the wp config file so here it is we have wp config.php uh, right click on it and click on code editor So once that is done, you will be able to see a pop-up window like this over here. Uh, this is where you can simply edit your wpconfig.php file. Scroll down and write below. That's all. Stop editing. Happy publishing. You have to enter a line of code over here. That, this is the line of code that I want. I will also mention these codes in the description of the video. Once that is done, simply click on save and close and that is it. I'm not going to do that right now since I, I still have um, two more ways, to, uh, two more methods to explain. So I'm not going to save it. But this is how you can simply unfilter all kind of uh, uploads. So once you do that, yeah, all of your uploads will be unfiltered. So that is the third type, which is add new permitted file types using wp-config.php type. Okay, so now we're going to go for the fourth type, which was the edit your themes function.php file to modify permitted file type. Now that one is actually, we are going to use the same plugin, the same steps, simply go into wp file manager, go into wp file, and you'll be handed over this stuff from here, go into wp content. Click on the themes. Click on the theme that you're using right now. From here, you can simply see the function.php file right over here. So double click on that. It will download your file. Right click on that, click on code editor and it will open your file. So over here, scroll to the very last of the file. And now you have to enter this little code. Now using this little code, I'm basically enabling SVG and SVG Z type of files. So let's copy this. And in the same way, you can add more types over here. Once you do that, control V, save and close or simply save and then you can check it out and then close it whatever you want and that way you will be able to add SVG and SVG Z type of files in your site. So let me just close this again. I still have one more method to go. So this is how you can edit your themes function.php file to modify permitted file type. So this, this is how you can simply permit more file types. Now the last one is to use the free WP extra file type plugin. Again, we need a plugin over here. So go into dashboard and go into plugins. Click on add new. From here, click on uh, search for extra file type. So this is the one that we need 50,000 plus active installations click on install now once it is installed activate it now what it does is it creates a sub heading in your settings one so once you go into settings you will be able to see extra file type so click on that now this is the most simplest one so there's a long list of file types. Check the boxes next to the file types right over here. Uh, file types you want to be able to upload and then save the changes. Make sure to save the changes every single time. For example, I want XML, I want DF, uh, DXF, I want uh, .par. S simply select each and every one that you want to use. And once you do that, scroll at the very end and click on save changes of course you can add your own custom changes too by clicking on this little plus button right just write the description your file extension and its mime type and 
you will be able to add your own custom file types over here too. So this is how you can use the free WP extra file type plugin to add or allow, allow and of course add your own custom file types. So that's it. That's the video for today. If you still have any questions, just drop a comment in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe Cyberpanel.